This is Raja Chambers on Parliament Avenue, where Police Constable Ivan Wawiri shot and killed city businessman Utam Bandari yesterday. According to CCTV footage released by police today, this is what occurred inside Bandari's office of TFS Financial Services. The detectives who visited the scene yesterday uh, recovered 13 cartridges. They have also retrieved the CCTV footage, which clearly shows how the suspect, one Wawire uh, Ivan, shot the victim, Utman. Today, police has revealed that Wawiri narrowly escaped arrest after committing this heinous crime. They had known his location. They were about to arrest him, but I think he changed his mind and left the place. Using his Twitter page, President Museveni has conveyed his condolences to the family of the fallen businessman Bandari, but also tasked the police force to respond to critical questions. President Museveni demanded to know whether Wawiri had been suffering from any illness. Due to the suspect's medical conditions, police management at CPS Kampala had taken the decision about six years ago not to arm the suspect, not to arm Wawiri with a gun. His recent deployment or his deployment has been in CCTV, monitoring center, they are the ones who monitor what is going on within the city center. The president also demanded to know how Wawiri came to be in possession of a gun. His housemate had worked at night. He didn't return the gun to the Amura. Instead, he went with it. Instead, he went with a gun up to their house. Wawiri, Ivan, saw this as an advantage, took this as an advantage, got the gun, went and misused it by shooting the, the victim, Otman, dead. Onyango says Corporal Mulambo, whose gun was used in the murder, is currently under arrest for flouting established police gun handling procedures. And the procedure is, if you are going to work in the morning or in the evening, you go to the Amura man, you sign for the gun, he gives you whatever you want to, to, to take, then when after work, you have to take it back. And when you take it back, again you have to sign that yes, I took gun number, serial number this, with these bullets, I've returned them at this time. The fact that the incident occurred in a part of the city which is under high security surveillance owing to the presence of government agencies and parliament also raised some queries. The place, the scene of crime, it is in a basement. Basement surrounded by walls. Whatever happens down inside there, you might not be able, in, in the case of a noise, in the case of what, the noise that doesn't come out easily because the noise is contested by these walls. The president also wanted to know whether Raja Chambers had any security, but police has revealed that there was no security apart from a reception desk. But Onyango has reassured relatives of the victim and the nation that Wawiri will be brought to book. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.